Hello Yang Gang, this is Nam Man. Welcome to my channel, Make Me Think Harder. <laughs> Today, Andrew Yang endorses Joe Biden on CNN News. No big surprise for me. Uh, he, he is doing exactly what he said he will do. He did some math, and so no, no path for Bernie, so he endorses Joe. That's it. <laughs> I respect him for what he said he will do. <laughs> Today I want to talk about something else. I want to talk about... Hey! Congratulations guys! Asian Americans are visible now. <laughs> well... Due to... This. If you're from China, I need to know. Because why? Because there's a coronavirus going around, and anyone from China, I am told, has to be picked up in quarantine for two weeks. Actually, it's people returning to the U.S. who have traveled to China's Hubei province recently, not just anyone who may look Chinese. And physical attacks. The New York Police Hate Crimes Task Force is asking the woman wearing the face mask in this video to report it for a full investigation. The person who recorded this says before the camera started rolling, the man had hit the woman on the head, used expletives, and called her diseased. Every disease has ever came from China, mommy. Everything comes from China. I don't want him under me. Tell him to move. Tell him to move. Move. Hey! Not too long ago, I did a video on how Asian Americans are invisible. No colors, just invisible. <laughs> Thanks to coronavirus, we are now very visible. It seems America has problem with math when dealing with millions and billions. But you see it as a possibility if he wants to spend a billion bucks beating this guy, he could do it. Absolutely. Um, somebody tweeted recently that um, actually with the money he spent, he could have given every American a million dollars. I got it. Let's put it up yeah. on the screen. It, when I read it uh, tonight on social media, it kind of all became clear. Bloomberg spent $500 million on ads, U.S. population $327 million. Uh, don't tell us if you're ahead of us on the math. He could have given each American one million dollars and have had lunch money left over it's an incredible way of putting it it's an incredible way of putting it it's true it's disturbing okay people let's look at some big big numbers well small small numbers we'll see <laughs> i'm here at waldometers.info slash coronavirus i'm not sure about the accuracy of the data on this website but it does match with the CNN data so let's use it we have 119,226 case worldwide okay 4,299 people died so far 66,573 people recovered so it looks like a 94% of people survive, 6% dies so far. Let's look at view by country. It went up to 1,000 not too long ago. Uh, by the way, this is early in the day. Yesterday, it was about late in the day, it was about 800, 900 people. United States. We've got now 1,010 people that have the case. That, it, that equates to 3.1 person per every million that has been infected. It's very, very low. But it's not, it's something to be worried about though. <laughs> Chinese people, 
56.1. I'm gonna look at Korean people. I'm a Korean American, so let's look at South Korea. 151 people. I don't know why they went up so much above China. Anyway, the total case is a lot more in China than Korea though, so. And it seems like more people are critical in China than Korea, a lot more people. United States, only 10 people are critical. Today, they one person died. 22 people died. Uh, down here, you will see total death today of 25 people died worldwide today. Now, let's look at flu data. Flu, seasonal flu counter. This is a live counter. This year, 93,162 people died this year due to flu. 40 pe 44 people died so far. So 23, 25 I mean, the 25 people died. Let me refresh this screen so I have to refresh screen to update the data here. So let me, still 25 people. On this screen, Wow, this went up to, was it 40? I don't know, 45. Anyway, 45 people died today. Let me show you actual average here. Every year, estimated 290,000 to 650,000 people die due to influenza, flu. That corresponds to 800 to 1,800 deaths per day compared to this number right here 4299 and 650 or 200 let's look at, just look at 290,000 versus that number so far or today's date 25, let me refresh the screen again, just in case. 25 people still died. Let's look at, just went up one, 46, went from 45 to 46, just people keep on dying on flu. Now, some people will argue that, hey, we have a vaccine for flu. Uh, we don't have vaccine for Corona. That's true. So let's look at how many, what percentage of Americans take flu shots every year. Forty-one percent of Americans do not, do not intend to get a flu shot this season. Um, right here, I'm falling into this category right here, 14% plan to get vaccinated. I just keep on forgetting, but I normally work inside house. I'm a teleworker, so mostly I'm safe, but I, I intend to get it, but I'm here. So only 43% actually got the shot, flu shot. Flu data is tremendous compared to coronavirus. Actually, we don't know what coronavirus is going to do each day. So we should be very, very concerned about coronavirus. And we should do everything possible to get rid of this or find the vaccine for it. But it's in no way compares to what that, oh wow, it went up to 47 from 45, yeah. Let me see for a flu shot. Let me refresh the screen here, just in case. Still 25. So the two data is not even comparable. So many people still die from flu compared to coronavirus. Yes, we need to contain coronavirus. We have vaccine for flu. 
But if we're not panicking this much with the flu, 41% of us refuse to take flu shot. <laughs> Why are we so panicking about coronavirus? Why the hate crime? What is the chance that one of these people here in Korea will end up in your metro station or in your hotel lobby or in the street with you? Why the hate crime? Why the panic? Just yesterday, my Facebook friend posted this. Should I be offended? I'm Asian and someone put Clorox wipes on my desk at work. So I wrote him my own little story that happened about a few days ago. I went to my dentist to get my teeth cleaned. A dental hygienist I never saw her before. I'm the regular there so she's a newbie for me but uh, she asked me where are you from? So I said, oh, if you're asking my race or my ethnic background, I am Korean American. Where are you from? She said, I'm from Afghanistan. I said, okay, nice to meet you. And she started putting her gloves on, mask on, getting all those sharp things out. And a thought occurred to me and I said, hey, by the way, did you ask me that question because you were concerned about coronavirus and maybe you thought I traveled recently from Korea or China and she say yes she smiles and yes I'm sorry she says I say oh no problem I, I have been to Korea in like 10 years and I don't have any symptom of a flu or virus so you're good <laughs> she smiles and and uh, she's about to clean and I say hey by the way, her boss, my dentist, is Korean American too. So I, I tell her, hey, by the way, your boss, has he been to Korea recently? <laughs> she goes, no, he hasn't. I say, okay, good, because I'm not going to let him touch me if he has, okay? <laughs> she said, okay. So we left it off. People feel the unknown. But if you think about it just a little bit, those unknowns are not that unknown. Just think about it a little bit. As Asian American, when I see all these hate crimes, my immediate reaction is just spit on them or something, you know? <laughs> but no, let's not do that. Let's try to inform if we can. Let's try to understand their fear. Humanity first, humanity forward. If, even if this is a pandemic and it's thousand times worse than the flu itself, none of us should go into panic mode because panic doesn't help us. We need to think harder. My channel is about making me think harder. Me. I don't ask anybody else to think harder. Me. But today, I'm going to do something I haven't done before. America, think harder. Till next time, Namen out.